child is in the hospital after being shot during a police standoff with a murder suspect on Long Island. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook has been following this story all morning from the community of Ridge, Long Island. And he joins us live from Cohen Children's Medical Center in Glen Oaks, Queens, with more on how the child is doing and the latest on this case. Elijah? That's right. Good afternoon, Cindy. At the moment, we are currently awaiting a press conference to begin with Suffolk County Police giving us the latest information regarding this case last night. In the meantime, we want to go ahead and show you or rather tell you about some uh, good news I just received. I just got the phone moments ago before this live shot with the father of three-year-old lovely Tony who tells us that she is now out of the operating room and is expected to make a full recovery. All of this coming as police continue their investigation into this awful ordeal. It's definitely something tragic, something I won't wish on anyone. James Tony is still in disbelief this afternoon after his three-year-old daughter was shot as she was sitting on their living room couch. He showed us inside the apartment just hours after the chaotic incident when he says at least three bullets pierced through this wall and struck his daughter. I know how to react. I've never been through it before. My daughter was even shocked. She stood there. She didn't even cry. And I just learned that, that we even went through a hand. Then in and out her stomach. James tells me initially he thought the sound were fireworks going off in the backyard. But little did he know at the time, a police standoff with 38-year-old Gary Jones, wanted in a murder case back in June in Central Islip, was going down in the neighboring apartment. Detectives say they were interviewing a friend of Jones about the case when the suspect came out of the room and fired multiple shots at them with a handgun. This before barricading himself inside the apartment. A SWAT team and other officers and tactical gear arrived to negotiate with Jones at one point using a robot to enter the residence. When they did, they say Jones was eventually found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. James is thanking Suffolk County police for bringing his little girl to safety. The good officers put my daughter in a squad car and, 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 and kept everything good um, and did their job and got her to the hospital yeah. safely. And thankfully, three-year-old lovely Tony is expected to make a full recovery right here at the hospital. Again, we do want to mention that we are awaiting a press conference from Suffolk County police officials to give us the very latest regarding this situation that ensued late last night. And that is the latest here from Glen Oaks, Queens. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you. I'm so glad that lovely is going to be okay.